I usually tell them that I have, yeah, I usually just say that I haven't, I haven't seen the decision. So, you know, it's hard to, to give my opinion on it, but I'm, I'm sure that the referee had reasons. And then sometimes that we might talk around sort of the general scenario, but I try not to give any kind of specific um, guidelines or answers to that scenario, particularly if I haven't seen it, even if I have seen it actually, because it, again, I wasn't the one making the process of the decision and, and, and I don't know the other pressures and the other considerations in that scenario. I try to keep it quite open. Um, if, in, if I haven't seen it, I'm well, like, if you describe, get them to describe that situation to you, you could go, well, this is how I'd see it. Um, and I probably, again, it's probably that open-minded kind of approach of I can see why they've decided it that way, um, but it could also be viewed this way, especially for the 50-50 decision. But sometimes you have to admit that they got it wrong, we get it wrong, or no, they're 100% right, and whatever you think they did wrong is not right at all. So it kind of goes both ways, but, yeah, you kind of have to, um, yeah, try and not lay into them. We all make mistakes anyway as well, so, yeah. I just normally keep it as such, like, oh, it's their decision, that's how they saw it. I don't really want to get involved in how other people see it because we all see the game differently and I think that's really important about refereeing that we're all different. 